almost done for Mr. Baddeley's uh, Patreon. There'll be a future build that I'll be doing a full size R2D2. And yes, it's on the CR10 Max. And yes, the build volume in the firmware was 450 by 450 by 470. But if you measure the bed, it's actually 470 by 470. So because this printer came from Tiny Machines down in Texas, they modified the he their hex file, their source code for me, since I didn't have access to the source code the firmware. And uh, I increased the bed size to 470. I sliced with Simplified 3D. The helmet fit, fit perfectly fine on it. I had a few problems with some of my PETG stringing quite a bit. So David Petzl gave me uh, a few uh, tweaks here and there on my slicer settings to improve it. I still have some real minor string and a few little boogers here and there, but it's not that big of a deal. And uh, yeah, I started printing it last Thursday night, I believe, and today is Wednesday the following week in the morning. So it's like a six-day print so far. My layers, I believe, were 644, six totem bot bottom and perimeter with like 25% infill, but as it was going up, it's basically solid. And uh, it's been a great print. I'm printing with blue and yellow. Ziltec PETG. The rest of the droid will probably be PLA Plus from GS, GST 3D out of Florida. They have a special for like 10 rolls for a little over $100 and free shipping. So more than likely the rest of the droid will be out of PLA Plus. You get a really good deal on it. But it's looking wonderful. And I normally print like 240 and 70 on the bed. But David recommended that I start out around 240 degrees, kick it down at 238, which I'm doing. And the bed is currently at 60C, not 70. So, but it's looking really good, coming out really nice. And let's see what the top layer is doing there. And it's just about done. So, I'm going to guess within the next, I don't know, to, the uh, slicer says it's got another hour left. But by looking at it, I'm going to say it'll be done in the next 10, 15 minutes. But one second here, I'll uh, come right back and we'll take it off the bed and take a look at it. But yeah, it's looking really cool. And I'll put a link below in the description where you can go over to Mr. Bedelli's uh, Patreon, Mr. Badley's Patreon. And for as little as $5 a month, you can have access to all these awesome files. And, and there's such a great community over on Facebook. And, uh, you know, me and my buddies uh, stream every two weeks on different builds that we're doing with uh, the different Astro, the different Astromax, the smaller droids. And uh, we're not all currently working on the R2-D2, but I figured I got the filament, I got the printer, why not? It can just be another one of my future projects I slowly build and tinker on. But it's a beautiful uh, looking model. I'll have to do a little light sanding on it here and there and prime it and paint it and go from there. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it or use rub and buff. I think a lot of the guys in the groups are using rub and buff on the domes. Give them a nice silver effect. And uh, You don't want it to be perfect since it's based on uh, a Star Wars R2-D2, so yeah, we'll come right back and check it out. Awesome, the print just got done. So, looking pretty good. So let's see what we did on filament. Well, here was the first roll of blue, it got real low, and I've heard that there's been issues depending on what firmware and how things are set up on the CR-10 Max, uh, Trevor from Navari 3D Printing, has been helping me set up different things on this printer. And he said that the filament runout sensor occasionally, like 50% of the time, if you let it run out on its own, you replace the filament, put it back in, you might have a layer shift like half the time. And he recommended that I unplug the filament runout sensor while it was printing, which I did. I, had a, I unplugged it because I didn't find out this before I started printing. He said, you just do a swap while it's printing. So I went over to the board as he recommended. I turned down the speed from 100% down to 10% while it was doing an inside layer. And then it started printing really slow. I simply pulled out the filament real quick, put the other, the yellow in it, ran it back up to the nozzle, and I sped the uh, speed back up to 100%. It picked right back up and kept on going, no problems whatsoever. But I was here for that, and I didn't want to take a chance on being that far into the print, then I have any kind of a layer shift, so I don't want to do that. But yeah, like you see, I have very little filament left here on the blue. You can see it through the door there, the window. Still a few rows. And then on the yellow, it's, I don't know, a little over halfway gone. So this took about a roll and a half. So, you know, you, for sure you want to have two rolls to be safe, but 
Anyway, let's pop it off the bed. Got my bill tax spatula here. Here, let me set the phone down real quick so I can do this. Alrighty, got that loose. Take a look at it. And there's a little minor damage inside, no biggie. I can just, the stringing isn't that bad. Minor stringing. And I'm not really sure what you call these whiffs, whiffs right here. But, you know, this will just come right off. Take a razor knife. Clean that up real easy. And a lot of times on PETG or PLA, if I have a lot of little stringing or when I print TPU, I'll take a little propane torch like you buy at Lowe's or Home Depot, Walmart. It's a blue, blue can of propane with a nozzle. And I just turn it on. It gives me a little bit of flame. And I just whisk, I burn them off really quick. And if I use a heat gun, it's going to heat up the whole model. Take a little bit of time. I prefer just to put some flame on it. A little bit of torch. But yeah, it came out awesome. It looks great. So start working on sanding on this, getting it all cleaned up. And uh, we'll figure out where we're going from here. But uh, thank you for watching, everybody. There, like I say, there's cool discounts below. If you want to check this out on Mr. Badley's Patreon, there's a link on the screen. It's in the description below. You can just click on it. Please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, happy printing. Take care, guys.